Nathan, welcome. Okay, thank you so much for having me. Tell me about Nathan Kong, the business. For us, uh, we're in a fashion business. So we start a project with a uh, custom-made suit. And every product that we do, we always collaborate with a local artist or a non-profit that we're working with. We work with an organization called uh, Les Simpassions. So they are a therapeutic art program that helping participants or the patient that they feel welcome. Through our creation, they express themselves through art. And I know how much of these ateliers create an impact to the life of a patient. What drove you to seek help? After working so many years with the mental health program, I myself you know, have a hard time adjusting to what's happening because my industry is heavily impacted. Sadly, uh, in what I do because my job is to make ambitious people look good. Mm -hmm. They have to portray that they are powerful when no one is going to work. From the sales that used to grow um, every year, it dropped to almost 0%. This year actually, in the spring, I have a hard time getting up. And for the first time in my life, I didn't feel like going to work. I wasn't sad, but I felt tired more than usual. That was the first sign. And it's back circle in terms of what I support and I myself seek for the same cause to get, to get help to feel better. And it's not something to be ashamed of. You want to take care of yourself before you actually hit the breaking point. And how do you feel now that you sought help? I would say I'm still going through the process. At first, I wasn't sure, but as I go through it, you know, I want to be better. I think that was the turning point. I want to be better and the best version of myself, and I felt like I was not. So that's when I started seeking for help. How do you proactively manage your mental health? Um, to stick with your routine, you set goals. You do not have to have an answer to everything in life at a specific moment. It's okay to take some time. And I think that's a plus side of pandemic. It allowed you to understand yourself better. It's allowed you to get in touch with yourself, to understand about yourself a bit more, and to discover the ugly side of yourself to ac and accept it. So for me, that was one of the big challenge that I have to face and then accept that you're not the Superman. We have weakness, we accept it, we are aware of it, and I shall hope that I will become a stronger person after this period. It is a really nice way to end the conversation. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Thank you for your time.